guys, this is Aiden's Toy Trove with part of our mail call series. Today we have a fun fun box from Francine Dare. She's a Briar custom artist in Australia. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but she recently sold the most beautiful working cow horse custom on eBay. She was a chestnut pinto. I think she went for like $1,200. She was gorgeous. I wish I could have brought her home. Me, but no. I had this little mini. Um, if I can ever figure out how to open this box, so uh, bonus points to anyone who can tell me how to open this box without um, chopping myself to bits with this razor blade. <laughs> and oh, I think we got it. Okay, so Francine always does such a wonderful, wonderful job with her packaging. She sent me this beautiful little swan card. Thank you, Francine. Let's see. It says... Hope you enjoy. Oh, uh, look at this cute little horse picture. A little horsing around never hurt anyone. So cute. I love Francine's packing. She's such a sweetheart. So inside we have, oh my gosh, how cute is that? Happy little, or happy late birthday? Oh my, I have no idea. What on earth? Too cool. Okay, and then inside is a horse in bubble wrap with plenty of packing popcorn. Well packed as always. Thank you, Francine. Simply fabulous. So I'm gonna set this little birthday gift off to the side. I have no idea how what that is, but that is so so cool. Um, I actually, um, well, okay, I did get something for my birthday. I got a gift card, which I really needed, but I didn't get anything uh, super cool and exciting. So uh, that might be my only birthday gift right there. So I own several of Francine's custom Briar staple meats. They're kind of like potato chips. You can't own just one. Uh, they're just fabulous. The detailing on them is so well done. Uh, I really enjoy them. I, I hope someday I can maybe be, um, move to showing custom Briar staple meats instead of all the big guys since they're so, so hard to pack. Today I, uh, I unpacked a bin of, I don't know, maybe 30 uh, custom briar horses and it took me four hours just to unpack them. So that doesn't even include the time that it takes to pack them up for shows and they're getting ready for Briar Fest. So that's why I did that. And now I'm finally done with that, although I did leave kind of a gigantic mess um, with their original packaging all over the living room, but I'm totally ignoring that and I am opening something fun and this is so perfect Now this is a really thin styrofoam kind of like you'd see on an LCD screen makes excellent packaging for a Briar custom because it does not stick to them and I see a wee little black something sticking out there <laughs> Must be the tail And, oh, look how cute, little appy spots on the butt. Ah, and there we go. We have the cutest little, tell me how cute this stable mate is. She um, customized the, uh, the stable mate warm blood jumper and she made this Iberian um, kind of colonial Spanish horse. He has a double braid on his mane. I didn't even realize that in the pictures, but uh, beautifully done. Look at that. And then he's got this little uh, braided up tail. So perfect. I'm wondering if I overlooked the base. So let's put this guy down on his little wrapping for just a minute and see if I overlooked something. Ah, uh, look, it even says base. Fantastic. And by the way, that box is uh, magnetic. It's just super cool. Love it. Okay, so we will put these little hoiki over there. And then we can open his base so that I can show him off to you. Actually, I'm trying to think. I don't know that I have any Spanish 
horses that are stable mates. Hmm. I don't think so. This year at Briar Fest, I think I am opting not to show stable meets because I haven't been able to keep up with multiple divisions in the past and I always end up missing a class or two. So I don't think I'll be bringing any of Francine's wonderful stable meets to Briar Fest with me, but we'll see. So she um, made this base and then it has an acrylic rod. Uh, I've had a couple people ask me where you get these bases. Uh, here in the U.S., you can get them online or from stores like Hobby Lobby. They come in various diameters, and they're very, very handy. This guy is performing the Spanish Capriole, so he's way up in the air like that. And he is very detailed. He's just perfect. I love him. He's like the little cheer me up that I needed today. Maybe I can lower this camera a little bit so we can get a better, better view of him. I have um, an overhead light going because it's nighttime here, so I'm sorry. I know it's blowing out the color, but otherwise we wouldn't be seeing anything at all. Okay, so that's the wonderful, wonderful horse. Ooh, someone's setting out fireworks. It's almost the 4th of July, so I guess that makes sense. But it sure sends my cats into the upper. Okay. Happy late birthday. No idea what this is. Cute little bow. Cute little pink wrapping. So awesomely cool. Okay. Oh, look, it's a unicorn. How cute is that? I would love some uh, unicorn wrapping paper. Aiden might not like if I wrapped his gifts in unicorn wrapping paper, but I think that's so awesome. Okay. I'm going to get my scissors because I'm lazy and I don't know if what's in here is fragile, so I don't want to just like rip it apart and risk breaking something. trying to keep all this tape kind of in a little ball over here because uh, it's been getting all over the house and stuck to shoes and stuck to cats. <laughs> it's not so great when it's stuck to cats. Especially when the cat then decides to eat it. Mm, more bubble wrap. Where's the end of this bubble wrap? Where could it be? So I'm sorry, I'm kind of OCD about uh, saving wrapping because I know how expensive it is. So I'm sorry if I'm driving you nuts by peeling all this tape off very slowly. Oh, and something teeny weeny. Hmm. Where is the end to this? That's always the fun part of this, or the maybe not so fun part, is finding the end. So I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to um, slide that off, and now I see the end. Alrighty, scissors. So I don't know about you guys, but we have like three pairs of scissors, and somehow we're always losing them. So, um... Having extra pairs of scissors is super handy. Oh, whatever this is, it's super tiny. Is it a mini Winnie? Oh my gosh. Ah, look, look at the little horse. I think I think this is a Briar Mini Winnie that Francine painted. 
And it's this gorgeous Bay Pinto. He's so cute. And I'm not familiar enough with the molds to know uh, if there's any resculpting, but that mane looks like maybe it's resculpted. Look how tiny! Thank you, Francine. He's so cute. I'm going to back him up from the camera because I think um, the camera gets kind of blurry when I put him up close. And the light's not very good right now. But that's, that's my little teeny weeny horse. Okay, so here's my little teeny weeny horse, right? Little mini weeny. And here is my stable mate. Look, the stable mate suddenly looks like a giant. Isn't that funny? Okay, I'm gonna try one thing. I'm just gonna try turning off this one overhead light. Uh, so maybe that will keep from blowing out the collar on the back of the horse. Okay, so I'll just show these to you one more time. I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference um, color-wise, but uh, now you've seen them with that overhead light on and now I'll rotate them around for you without that overhead light on. And I wanted to make sure that you saw his beautiful double braided mane and his beautiful uh, braided tail. Look, look at the little intricate, uh, I don't know what that's called, the wrapping on his tail. And he's got um, just beautiful detailing on his spots. Francine had a awesome, awesome Django I was bidding on, but uh, I got outbid. And that's okay though, because I love this guy. This guy is just too cool. I think he's the cutest. I love him. Thank you, Francine. What a pick me up after a very long day. Here is my fantastic loot from Australia. So cute. Thanks for watching.